Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Bioshock. Uh, last time we started the game, we got through Welcome to Rapture. We are now in the Medical Pavilion. Uh, basically we're going to do some Medical Pavilion stuff. <laughs> uh, we hacked a security bot a moment ago, that's going to help us out. There it is. Uh, there's just some splices to deal with, as usual. And yeah, that hacked machine will help me and attack my enemies, which is very helpful. I've really got to work and keep my Eva. You should check what the button to do that is. Oh, no, don't do that. That was kind of a weird diary to listen to as a trans person. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to check the controls so I can remember where's keys. Uh, yes. I just want to check how you... Is it this one? How you use the um, Eve... Eve hypo. Maybe there isn't a button for it, and that's why I can't find it. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Huh. Maybe it's just got to be automatic? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, I believe we want to go up this way now. Yeah, Simon is not a good doctor. We have a machine gun now, so that's cool. And there we are, electricity is on. Our robot's taking some damage, but we should be okay. Don't really have an option to fix it, unfortunately. Oh, these are important. You'll see why later. Uh, medical pavilion this way. Uh, is anything here? You promised me pretty, Simon. You promised me pretty. Now look at me. Look at me. You keep an eye peeled for Simon. But that bastard set up shop. 
Above all, do no harm. Jay Stein. That's written in blood. Oh my goodness. Start hack? Okay, yeah, this one's gonna be a bit harder. Um. There we go. Okay. Loop. Okay, the turret is now ours. Okay. So yeah, hacking is a lot slower in this game than in the, in the sequel, unfortunately. Still quite helpful though. I got special ammo. Use the uh, mouse wheel and B to change ammo type. Pick the right ammo for the right enemy. Cool. And yeah, health stations like this, you gotta pay to heal because it's libertarianism. <laughs> If this were a communist paradise, then you would have free healthcare. I assume. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Cold over there. You may need some warmth to go that way. On the surface. Parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. Yeah, Andrew Ryan's a dick. I like Tenenbaum. Good character. Welcome to the... It has been brought 
to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machines. We should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. Report any unexplained water promptly. Okay, you can hack the vending machines to get a discount on stuff. Uh, it's not always worth doing. I don't think I did it much on my first playthrough, but it is an option. Steinman, I know medical pavilion is your matter, but you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then rapture leaks. Now, I realise you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Okay. Uh, cabinet? Nope. Where is everything? Automatic hack tool. You can use it once for free. I, I don't think I used many of those either. In gun rounds. I think I saw another uh, diary around here somewhere. There it is. Are a moral imperative. Why do we have two eyes? Is this a law that says we must? Not finish! Not finish! Oh! You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery and stymie. Yeah, they blocked that way. Yeah, we want to get a telekinesis plasmid to get through here. Alright, shift opens this menu. I don't think you can sprint in this game, I think you just stay at the same speed all the time. Neither. I'm kinda using more ammunition than I need to. I need to work on that. Thank you. 
presenting them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. The upturned nose, the cleft chin, the ample bosom. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could do with a knife? That old Spaniard did with a brush. Okay, Picasso was a terrible person. This diamond is a terrible person, so that checks out. Can't go up there, even though it looks like I should be able to. Yeah, security cameras. Um, oh, watch out for them. You can uh, electroshock them to get them out of your way. You can also smash them once you get nice and close. I can reach it. There we go. You can hack them as well, and then I believe they will uh, summon bots that shoot your enemies, but... Hacking is so much work. Incinerate plasmid. So yeah, he's offering a whole bunch of Adam to everyone who's gonna anyone who wants to get me, which is another reason the slices are gonna take me out. Uh, the gatherer's garden is wrecked, but we can take incinerate. Incineration, when it absolutely positively has to erupt in flames. Don't wait, incinerate. Uh, we only have two slots right now, but we'll get more. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. <laughs> okay, we can now set things on fire. Like so. Okay, so now we have incinerate, we can go back to those frozen over buildings and we can get in there using the fire. Uh, can we go down there? Yes. Alright, oh, this is the way I couldn't go up. Now I can though. Okay. <laughs> All well, the grenade box, we might as well have a grenade in it. Okay, so here, uh, this bit is cold. We can open it now. It's in flame, like so. I don't know how many of these I'm going to hack, but for the moment it seems to be proving helpful, so let's keep doing it.
There we go. Bloop. Thank you, little turret. I'm still crouching. There we go. Oh, right, control. You, you tap control to go into walk mode. And I tapped it to crouch, because normally that's the button for crouch. Spooky. New plasmid. Uh, so this is an engineering tonic. Uh, it goes into a different slot. Tonics are like passive bonuses, basically. And so now we're better at hacking. I'm not sure how much better, but... Better is always better. Okay, if we can find the code for this, we can open that door. I don't know what the code is yet, though. Let's have a look around. We may find some clues. 0451? Let's give it a try! <laughs> And yeah, you can't type it in, you have to just do it like this, which is a bit silly. There we go. What have we in here? Another hack tool, another e piper, some ammunition, more ammunition, something down here. The shoes. Oh. Yeah, that, that was kind of worth doing. Uh, I think we're pretty much done in here now. This is not the area we're supposed to supposed to be in next, so is a side area. Uh, we're actually supposed to be getting uh, what is it? Telekinesis. Uh, there's another frozen area we can go to to get that. I can remember where it is, that would be lovely. Um, <laughs> it's here somewhere. Uh, it might be down here? Yes. Yeah, we can go in here using incinerate, like so. Polio <laughs> beans. Uh, we have it set to shimmer items I'm allowed to interact with. Um, you can turn that off if you want it to be more mysterious, but I think it's helpful. Oh. Uh, hello, Rocket Turret. Okay, start hack. I think it should theoretically be easier now that we have the tonic, but it looks more or less the same, so I'm not quite sure what effect it has. There we go. And that's a rocket turret, so that should do a pretty decent job of hurting our enemies if they happen to wander by. Let's 
Stay kit. You are supposed to like buy first aid kits and stuff from the vending machines. I will do that eventually. Another hidden plasmid in this room? I think it's a tonic, actually. Combat tonic. Wrench jockey bulks up your upper body, allowing you to wield club-like weapons with unprecedented skill and power. So yeah, uh, we do want to equip that. There we go. Because that makes our wrenching so much better. Uh, and we are wrenching a lot, so that's going to be very helpful. Do. Money. Oh yeah, there's a camera over there. Um, let me just prep my Electro Bolt. Okay, then I can get over here safely. Grab the E-Typo. Hack the safe. Yeah, this is a safe. Safes are hackable. <laughs> They are quite a bit harder to hack, as you can see. And yeah, you take a bit of damage if you don't hack something successfully. It's probably worth using an auto hack, though. Like that. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff in there. Excellent. Pretty much done in this section. Cool. Uh, yeah, where we actually want to go is through this way. <laughs> yeah, when you take the shotgun, it goes dark. Give a little bit of a, a spook there. Then you get somewhat ambushed. Shotgun takes a while to reload, but it is very good. Okay. Uh, see what they dropped. I guess they put the shotgun there as like a trap, so I would come out and get got, but I didn't really get got, so. <laughs> Also, you know, they gave me a shotgun first. So they didn't quite think that through. Uh, we're coming up on half an hour again, so... Probably about the end of this video. Uh, we've collected several tonics, we can incinerate things. We have some nice plasmids under our belt. Uh, we also have a shotgun, which is nice. Oh, I needed the Chompers Dental Office key to go in there. Oh! Turret? Is that a turret? Yeah, it's a turret. Hmm. Now these doors are all locked. Hmm.
Can I go through these windows? Yes, I can. That makes sense. And yeah, you can see Tara, it's, it's much simpler to hack a Tara than to hack the other thing that I tried to hack the safe. There we go. Thank you, Tarot. Okay, so yeah, uh, I think that's about it, about it for now. We have to go from this side? We can. There we go. Uh, so next time, uh, we'll probably get to, to the telekinesis plasmid. We'll probably find where that is. <laughs> Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I haven't really been consciously making, like, face faces or anything, so hopefully my face being visible is, is of interest to people. Um, I wonder if I should be in the opposite corner, because, like, the weapon I have equipped is being shown down the bottom there. Hmm. Maybe I'll move myself to the other corner next time. I think... Whoa. Uh, hello. Go away. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think probably putting the my my little camp like picture there in the bottom right corner would make more sense. Eh, I can do that. I figured bottom left made sense, but I was perhaps mistaken. Although over here is my atom count. Eh, we can see that when we need to see it. By going to the uh, gatherer's garden anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll change that for the next video. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you are enthralled by this strange world of, of shocks and bio. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just I'm just spitballing. Uh, speedy hacker? Yeah, that gives you more time to hack, I believe. Yeah, it reduces flow speed. Okay, um, cool. Save. Yeah, I'll make a new save, doesn't really matter. Saving content. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>